The Swag app puts Employment Hero Payroll's power directly in your employees' hands. As specialists who've deployed this solution across multiple industries, we understand what makes it truly effective. In this video, you'll learn how employees can manage their timesheets, submit leave requests, and access their pay information. We'll also cover roster viewing, clock-in features, and how to handle break management through the mobile interface. So when they log into the Swag app, um, they'll be greeted with the screen. Um, the only relevant module is the work module. So I'm just gonna be going through that today. And um, what we can see here is the home screen. So in the home screen, they can see their last pay slip. They can see their next upcoming rostered shift. Um, they can see if their current leave balances and they can see if they have any pending leave requests in there. You'll also notice there's a clock in, clock in button up here as well. Now, this is up to yourselves. We can enable this clock in and clock out functionality or we can turn it off. So it's just dependent on whether you want your employees to clock in and clock out or whether you'd prefer if they just retrospectively entered their timesheets. So in this case, I'm just gonna clock in and it's as simple as that. They're clocked in. When an employee is currently clocked into a shift, they're only gonna see the clock out and start break buttons in there. Um, when they're finished with the shift, they can just click on clock out and then that should be the shift time sheeted. Um, now I'm just gonna go through the tabs up at the top here. So first tab is the pay slips and they'll be able to see any of their historic pay slips in here. They can open them up and they should be able to see their pay slip and they'd be able to share that or send that to themselves as well. Next is the leave module. So they'll be able to see all of their current leave balances and they'll be able to see all of their future leave requests. So these leave requests I can see are all approved um, they'd also be able to see any leave requests that might be pending that you've submitted through to your manager. They can also go ahead and create a leave request by clicking that create leave request. They can select what leave category they're looking to request the dates for, and then just confirm the dates that they're looking to um, take leave for. They can enter in notes in there, they can add an attachment, and then they can just click on submit. And I can now see that in my list of leave requests in there, and it's just pending. Next is the timesheet section. So um, we can set things up so that employees can only clock in and clock out and then view their timesheets, or we can allow employees to go ahead and make any um, manual adjustments or create timesheets from scratch in here. So in this case, I have full access for timesheets. I can see um, this was the shift that we just clocked in and clocked out. So I can actually see that in my timesheet already. It should automatically flow through. If I needed to make any adjustments, I can just click on that timesheet and I can change any of the times that I need. Now, if I wanted to uh, create a new timesheet, I can just click on add, new timesheet, select what location I'm working against, for example, support, and then I would just pop in my start and end time that I've worked for. And once you've submitted those timesheets, you'll be able to see it syncs. And when it's syncing, it means it's connecting up to the PayCat system. And once that's fully synced, it should switch to status submitted. And once that's switched to status submitted, that timesheet should now be visible in the PayCat system for any managers or administrators. Finally, we just have the rostering section in here. And I can just see all of my future shifts for the next two weeks. So I can see that I have a shift next week, I can see a signed shift, and I can also see my historic shifts as well. If I go backwards, um, any of the shifts that are grayed out have already passed. And that is just a quick overview of the Swag app. There is a little bit more functionality to it and we do have a full comprehensive course that can be sent out to your employees um, if necessary. So just let us know.